Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and I'm back with another episode of Topical Tea today. This has been happening and this has been brewing for a, a couple months now, I'll be honest. It's been brewing since the whole Dutch Belly situation was going on. This has been brewing since then because Bouncer said some stuff, and I've kept quiet on it. Didn't really feel the need to speak on it, but it's actually starting to escalate into quite an interesting area. So make sure you like the video for me, smash that thumb. A subscribe button for me, smash that bell to be notified for me, and if you want to support your boy's merchandise, it's in the description below. Now, let's get into this. So, where did this beef stem from? Let's take it back to the origin. Now, as you guys know, Dutch Avelli got exposed uh, last year, the back end of last year, for whatever he got exposed for, messaging, dealing with young, whatever, do you know what I'm saying? I've already covered that in ex extensively, I don't need to go back over that. Um, but that's where it stemmed from, yeah? All the allegations against Dutch Avelli, that's where it stemmed from. Now, Bounce obviously came out, at the time and he was one of the first kind of people with any clout or like high profile or whatever like not not that like civilian like me someone that's actually kind of known he was the first person yeah to say ah oh, this is wrong and that's wrong or this that and the other you know wow we've got energy for this person but we ain't got energy for this person blah 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 right and that's the origin of it that's where it came from and then since then Dutch Avelli and Bouncer have been having that like, little throwing shade at each other here there and everywhere couple slide digs couple bits and bobs apparently um i don't listen to dutch belly no more allegedly he said in one of his new songs that he mentioned bouncer being a snitch this that and the other so that's kind of where the, the beef stemmed from and and that's where the the, the disagreements came from bouncer accused that dutch Reveille of whatever dutch is calling um thingy or whatever a snitch and 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 that's where we are pretty much so let's take you through the story now bouncer released a documentary recently right on youtube just about his life and about his journey, talking about the snitch allegations, talking about this, talking about that. And in this documentary, yeah, he says this. Well, I made friends with the blog pages, bro. Uh. I'm in I'm in a group chat on Insta with like 30 big, the biggest blog pages. Uh. And we all talk on there. Uh. Do you get it? Uh. Like we all talk on there. Uh. Whatever narrative we want to push, we can push if we really want to. Uh. Do you know what I mean? But uh. we don't. But, we, but my thing is, if blog pages hit me up now. They hit me up when their pages go down. And in response to that, yeah, this is what Dutch Avelli had to say. As you can see on your screens right now, Dutch said, you guys made a snitch come and run the game. I'm done about push narrative. Told you, because these blogs never want to post my side of the story and my evidence from the feds. I get it now, but we move. Before I move on to the next part of the story, I actually, even though I don't listen to Dutch no more and I do think I've, I've already got strong opinions on what he did and I know where my opinion lies, right? He's got a fair point. If I was Bouncer, I wouldn't have mentioned that in the, in the documentary, if I'm being real. I wouldn't have mentioned that I'm friends and I'm buddy-buddy with all the blogs because that does look like the blogs will favour you. I've never seen the blogs kind of insult Bouncer. They're, they're, they're clearly all friends. And that means you can actually push a narrative that you want. Now, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's anything to do with Dutch Veli. I'm, forget, take Dutch out of it. I'm just talking about Bouncer in general. I wouldn't have admitted that because that then goes to show that if you're in cahoots with the blog pages, that means you can push narratives, that means they gem you, that means they come to you and you got f you're friends with them. So Dutch actually has a good point there because even though I believe who I believe, yeah, it's true that the, the, blog, the blog pages didn't really um, post the, the police reports or whatever, or his side of, of the story, but at the end of the day, what he was trying to prove that bounce as a snitch. That's got nothing to do with the allegations against Dutch, really and truly. So I know where I, I know where I stand on that. Still, in response to that, yeah, Bouncer actually came back and said this to Dutch Avelli. As you can see on your screens, um, Bouncer said at Dutch Avelli, "Let's have a boxing match, or stop talking on the net. I'll pay for your lie detector test, and let's get confirmation from Insta saying your DMs are fake. If I'm wrong, I'll give a public apology." Right? Interesting. A man said lie detector. <laughs> Wow, I mean, that would be interesting. But then, interestingly enough, yeah, the story gets a little bit wilder. The story gets a little bit more random, yeah? Because as you guys know, Dutch Avelli is siblings with Steph London, and now she's getting involved. Like, like it's her place to, to get involved here. So she's getting involved now. So as you can see on your screens, it says this. Steph said, Dutch don't need to do no lie detector. He's been cleared. The blogs just didn't want to post it. And hashtag big snitch just told on himself again after your last fight. I'm not sure how you're acting this brave. You're a joke. My brother will knock you out for free and he will never get in a ring with a snitch. Damn, that's some fire words there. That's some strong words from Steph there. Damn. I do wonder what Steph and the family actually like got told from Dutch Avelli and stuff and like whether she actually 
does believe him or she's just standing by her brother, who knows. But Bouncer came out and said this. Yo, I Steph London. Big up yourself, man. Big up yourself every time. Um, obviously, like I said, I'll pay for your brother's lie detector. Obviously, I see what you just wrote. Obviously, your brother will beat me up. I can't fight, so let's fight then, isn't it? Let's fight. Your brother Dutch has got an issue with me, so let's go in the ring and solve our issues, isn't it? Let's just sort it out. Come, let's fight. Um, I, the balls in you looks cool, isn't it? Obviously, you lot keep on going to Instagram and you keep on posting, so now the ball is in you lot's cool. And I will pay for a lie detector and just contact um, Instagram to see if their messages are fake or if they're. So, as you can see, Bounce is kind of making light of the situation, saying, um, you know, being respectful, saying big up yourself. I hear that, being respectful for the cameras, I, I get that. But he makes a good point because if, if, if it's going to be easy work and your brother would knock him out, get in the ring then. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk on this at the end here, but I don't want to hear no like if you're not if you're if you think you're about it yeah if you think you're about it then you should have no qualms with getting in the ring with another man if you really think you're about it yeah I I know I'm not the best fighter in the world I know I could lose to a lot of people in the world out there you know what I'm saying but I but I trust these you know what I'm saying I've, I've, I can fight <laughs> you know you feel me so I don't fear no one I would get in the ring and I will be getting in the ring when YouTubers are serious and wanna like we can get into this YouTube thing you know what I'm saying so. I've got no qualms with getting in the ring, and if it's if, if I thought someone was easy work, I would get I would take my peas and get easy work, um, and give them easy work. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, Steph, I don't really know what the fuck you're talking about there. Um, yeah, I know you're riding out for your brother and that, but maybe just let these like dons just hash it out. You know what I'm saying? So last week at some point, yeah, or a week before, Bouncer came out on Instagram and said, "Who do you want to see boxing on Wicked and Bad Free? Who versus who? Tag, right?" And Dutch Avelli actually commented on this year saying. Bro, why are you getting shook? You drew man out. Now you're looking for a new opponent. Now I'm not too sure if Bouncer said anything directly afterwards yet, because I, I, I can't seem to find it. I think I meant, but he might have responded by, I don't know, maybe replying in the comments or something. I can't actually remember. But then Dutch Avelli yeah, released this video recently. I think it was yesterday. You know, man, it's your boy Dutch. I but listen, I beg my supporters stop messaging man about fighting fat boy car. He said what he said for the internet. You get me? We got back to him. Told him, yo, X, Y, Z, we're ready. You get me? He's not on it. So I beg you, I'm a rapper, guys. You get me? My supporters, man's got the bangers coming for you, lot. You get me? If man was on fighting, I'll be in the ring just more that. Love. Now, before I get into Bouncer's final response here, which we, what, what, he, what he released a couple hours afterwards here, after Dutch Belly released that, I want to start by saying this. I don't believe Dutch Belly, if I'm being real. I don't believe they got into contact with him and Bouncer's not on it. Because the proof's in the pudding, bro. Bouncer has just been on it, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? As in Bouncer has just fought Arms Corleone, bro. Forget how shit the fight was. The facts are, Bouncer done that. The facts are, Bouncer has a platform with Wicked and Bad that he's trying to grow, and the facts are, he got on that show, and the facts are, he's actually fought for money and for, on pay-per-view. That's, that's, that's what we do know, that's the facts. So, I don't believe for one second here that Dutch Avelli's team, I mean, they might have approached them, but they did not approach them with no offers. They did not approach them with no, you know, contracts, no nothing. I, like, you can just you can just tell. Why would Bouncer not be on it? You don't like each other. He's already fought someone who's tonk, someone who's bigger than you. Do you know what I'm saying? As in stronger. Now, I don't think he's tall as Dutch, because Dutch is very tall. But Arms is like pretty much near enough the same height, or, or maybe not the same height, but definitely bigger. Do you know what I'm saying? It's way big. So why would he why would he fear fighting Dutch for money when Dutch Avelli's a bigger draw as well, more money. Dutch Avelli's more way more known than um, Arms Corleone, so he's gonna have way more clout and way more money to bring because we all would we would all pay for that yeah well i would anyway i can't lie i would pay nah, i lied i just lied to you lot I, I wouldn't pay but a lot of people would pay i would much rather see bouncer versus dutch Abelli because there's real beef there there's real friction there versus like rather than D D um, arms versus bouncer but yet they, they still got a nice healthy bag from that so bouncer, so the facts are, yeah, bouncer would be on it. So I don't believe Dutch um, team approached them, and he just wasn't on it. That doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, bouncer had this to say: "Yo, my people, listen. This is a very serious topic. Every day we see videos of people where carrying knives and swords and trying to kill each other, and we're saying, put the knives down, put the knives down. Me and Dutch have a big issue online. We don't like each other. You can see it. I can see it." He can see it, regardless of anything. We do not like each other. We've agreed to box each other in the ring. 
Ain't we trying to put out a positive message? Like, ain't this what we need to show the youths? Like, I, I'm confused because people will be like, it's all easy said. Don't be fighting him. Or he, people will be like, don't be fighting Bouncer. But you're not from the streets. So when serious street stuff start happening, you're not, no one's not saying nothing. You're not saying nothing on the streets. So we're trying to put out a serious message. Please, guys, just get behind it, man. Serious. And I completely agree with him. Completely agree. Now, let me just quickly read the caption as well. You can see me and Dutch don't like each other. Regardless of the situation, isn't this better for the youth to see? I don't get it. Then when you see violence on the street, you say something about that, can't win. Look at the message behind it. I completely agree. I've said it before. Yeah, you look like a bad man when you shoot and stab someone. But for me, I think that's weak. Yeah, real bad boys know how to handle themselves with their fists. And if push comes to shove, then I'll do something with the, with the something. Do you know what I'm saying? Rather than, but you, you have to first and foremost know how to use these. Yeah, and if, everyone's, if someone's threatening me or threatening my family, threatening my friends, then the rest will take care of itself. But first things first, if you're really about it, you should want you should you know you should know how to fight in it simple as and i completely agree with bouncer people these little country youths people that ain't seen nothing on the roads whatsoever yeah they get gassed by this oh someone someone's your favorite my favorite rapper just ching someone oh my favorite rapper just blew someone with a four five rah, 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 this that but you think it's cringy when two men are organizing a fight nah bro you're cringy if you think that shooting and stabbing people's cool if two people yeah literally have a problem with each other. Two people have a beef, have a friction. What better message is there to send here yeah, that if you can't hash it out, as in like a talk it out, then swing it out. No murder, you know what I'm saying? No families grieving. Swing it out and shake hands afterwards. Simple as, simple as. Yeah, I don't like you. Yeah, you don't like me. Let's hash it out. But the thing is, yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna end on this. Do you know what the problem is? Dons have too much pride. The reason why Dutch Avelli won't get in the ring with Bouncer, um, which I, I don't think he will, not because not because he's necessarily scared of Bouncer, I don't think he's scared of Bouncer, I just, I think he's got too much pride. He won't want to risk losing because people in this day and age got too much pride, too much ego. If you lose, oh, they, they're gonna be scared of the banter. They're gonna be scared of all the this, that and the other. What, it doesn't matter because half the people out there with all opinions, they wouldn't get in the ring anyway. So half the battle is getting in the ring, half the, Half the bravery is getting in the ring. So if you get in the ring with Bouncer and, and, and take it, you'll look good, no matter what the result is. Yeah, and Bouncer's, about, Dutch Valley's a big guy. If he trains properly, he could, you know, jab his nut off or whatever. But I believe Bouncer will win that as well, but a, a boxing fight, if it's a boxing fight, he'll win that still. Um, the same way I called he'd win the MMA fight against Arms, I think he'll win the boxing fight against uh, Dutch Valley as well. But listen, man, what do you lot think about this? I think it's an extraordinary idea. Yeah, you don't need to be shooting and stabbing people like some, a bunch of clowns, really and truly, over, over stuff that you don't even own. Do you know what I'm saying? You yeah, get like, it's, it's, it's actually proper, proper embarrassing when you actually deep it. If, yeah, Dutch and Bouncer, who are clearly from the roads, yeah, clearly from the streets, if they can show the youth that you can swing it out rather than shoot it out, that is better. You need more people who are happy to take the lead rather than being all pride and ego and, oh, I don't want to lose and all oh, this, that. I don't care if I lose to, to a million people watching. Because at least, I, at least I had the balls to get in there. Do you know what I'm saying? Which most people can't, they're just talkers. So I really would like to see that if I'm being real. I would love to see that fight. I would love to see that fight. And more people would pay for that fight as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Either way, let me know your thoughts, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.